I'm surprised how well millet cooks. Millet. Oh man, that's. <laughs> I got. I just got a package of millet from the from the uh, food bank. It's all messy, and I didn't really know how to cook it exactly. But um, what I did is I I put some dehydrated um, some regular millet <laughs> in. Didn't do anything special to it into this cup, but the little mound over that, and that cup's attached to this this uh, thermos, Stanley thermos, the vacuum air um, cu 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 cushions um, type of hot water keeps hot and cold water keeps cold type of container. And I went to the gas station and got some coffee, the water for coffee, that hot water, about maybe 200 degrees. And threw the millet in the hot water and sealed it up. And it's pretty much like a cooker, all right, because this thing will keep the heat going for a long time. This is like, this is practically like using a slow cooker. So I, I just let the millet sit in there for a, a couple of hours. I, I tried after maybe uh, 20 minutes, I tried the millet and it was still kind of hard. But after um, an hour and a half or so, it, uh, it it's really softened up. It's it's soft. This millet is soft. You can see the, the uh, wind, windshield is, is all fogged there from the heat because it's maintained the heat all day. I got that water at nine in the morning and it's like four in the afternoon it's still very hot i, I had it's watery because i just threw a little water a little colder water in there to cool it down quick so i can eat it i'll throw milk in there it'll help this dehydrated this tasty dehydrated milk is uh is what helps complete the the cereal but it's really impressive all you got to do is is heat up the water to boiling you know 212 or just slightly below that and then throw it in one of these stanley thermos things throw the food in there and it's it's gonna cook um during the day during the night whenever you put it in there with that hot water because the hot water stays hot for it says 24 hours but i'd give it less than that so it's a pretty neat system of, of cooking. You don't actually have to hold this millet over the fire at all. Just as long as you get that water hot, you're good to go.